Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Denali. Uh, this is a series where I sit in my car and I talk about random or timely things in my life. So this morning, well, first off, hi, I have my coffee here. So cheers, good morning. And my car is still on because it's cold. So hopefully the motor engine isn't too distracting. But anyways, I have some really pin straight hair this morning or pin straight for me and I thought I would share why it's pin straight. I had a Japanese hair straightening treatment done over the weekend and so I just wanted to share what that was like for anybody who might be curious about the process because I have never straightened my hair before professionally and I, I want to say permanently but it's not permanent because you have to go get it done again, but I guess it is permanent in that this will never curl again, um, which sounds really sad, but let's just, let's dive into the topic. So I guess disclaimer first, I posted about this on Instagram and I guess I wanted to say the same thing here, which is that curly hair is awesome. So is wavy hair. I have had both for 39 years now, just over 39 years. And I thought in my 39th year, I would like to try straight hair because you know the grass is always greener i've always dreamed of having straight hair it's kind of one of those things where you're like you think to yourself like if only i had this then things would be just wonderful and perfect in life well on my list of if i only had this one of them is straight hair and when you have curly or wavy hair growing up you know, unless, until, <laughs> I guess I'll say until you learn how to manage it, it can be kind of a beast. And to be able to wake up and have your hair just be straight, if you have straight hair, then you kind of don't know what that's like. But if you have curly hair, the thought can be a little bit appealing if you don't always love your curly hair. <laughs> so, Anyways, I have through the past, I don't know, 10 or 20 years as straightening treatments have become more and more popular and mainstream or popular and mainstream in my peripheral vision. I've just heard of different straightening treatments that have come out. I think the most popular one that I heard about through the decades was the Brazilian straightening treatment. Is that what it's called? I wanna say Brazilian blowout, but I don't think, is that what it's called? It doesn't matter, but then that one got a lot of flack, if I'm not mistaken, because people said that there was ingredients in there like formaldehyde or whatever that was possibly like not good or safe. I then had also heard of Japanese straightening treatment, hair straightening treatment, but when I heard about it, I feel like I had heard about it probably about 10 years ago or sometime in the past 10 years for the first time. And when I heard about it, it was like, well over a thousand dollars and I thought okay well <laughs> I'm never <laughs> I don't think I'm ever in a comfortable place in my life where I'm like yeah let me just drop a grand on my hair yeah so there's that so that wasn't in the cards for me either even though it looked absolutely gorgeous and beautiful I do remember I vividly remember watching I don't even know what it was but some sort of video probably on my phone where I saw somebody get it done so fast forward until now, what have I done to straighten my hair when I want to have straight hair? I've used what feels like every product in the book, obviously a hair dryer. I, in the past few years, they've come out with those Revlon hair tools. That, that actually works really great. Uh, that's a great tool. You can use it on just directly wet hair, but I've actually found it works really best um, if you let your hair dry most of the way. I mean, I think you can use it on dry hair too, but I use it on like very mildly damp hair and it works beautifully. It looks really nice. That's great. Obviously a hair straightening tool. I feel like I've had every hair straightening tr tool through the years. I got my first one, I think, when I was about 17 years old, and I remember just frying my hair with that thing. <laughs> and yeah, so then I probably had like, I don't know, 10 or more easily hair straightening tools in that time. One hair straightening tool that, gosh, why am I forgetting the name of it? Oh no, it's one that I actually really love. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but it's basically, it looks like a, 
a vacuum unit and you hold it up to your hair and instead of blowing hot air, it suctions hot air and you use it around your hair in sections. And so that's what I've loved using on my hair to get it really straight. I'm going to link it down below because I can't remember the name of it in this moment. <laughs> I want to say a Flowbee, but that's like the hair cutting one, but it's kind of, it looks kind of the same. I'm not going to lie. It, it really looks like a vacuum. The only problem with that tool is that it's, it would be very impractical to travel with because like I said, it looks like a handheld vacuum unit. And I, of course I could travel with it, but it, it just doesn't make sense. So if I've gone on vacation, I always will do that to my hair the day that I leave. So then it lasts a couple days and I don't have to wash it. So anyways, that's what usually gets me this really, really straight hair. So a few days ago, I decided that I saw a video on TikTok and a girl, an influencer that I follow said that she got a Japanese hair straightening treatment and she kind of like showed her before. She showed what her hair just looked like naturally before that because she's been having it done for a while. And I thought, I want to do that. And so I just looked it up and I saw that there was a salon near me that does the treatment. So they didn't have their prices on there. And the place I go to typically get my hair cut, which is a larger salon in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Washington state area, they don't do this treatment. They actually don't do really any straightening treatments there. And I don't know if that's because they don't believe it's safe for hair, not sure. So anyways, I called this place that's just like right down the road from me and they said it will take that. I, yeah, I could come in and get it done. It takes three to four hours, they said, and they said it would be three to $400. I was like, oh, so like a hundred dollars an hour. Well, when they said three to 400, I was like, okay, that's more affordable than what I thought this straightening treatment cost because I initially had thought it costs a thousand dollars. So I said, yeah, I'll come in. They had an appointment that they could get me in for, for tomorrow. The next day I went in, I was on time for my appointment. I can tell you that the appointment lasted exactly four hours. In that four hours time, they did the Japanese hair straightening treatment she also gave me a little bit of a haircut just because I won't lie. I haven't had a haircut in a long, long time. And so my, my ends of my hair were like really dead. So she didn't really like style it much, which is fine. I'm okay with it. I kind of like this blunt cut that she gave me. So she cut it. And then she also did a keratin treatment at the end, which I don't know if they always do, but I would definitely have done again. She also just said my hair was like super thirsty. <laughs> so I wasn't going to stop her from any of the stuff that she was going to do. And I, I knew it was going to probably add a little bit more to the cost. For the Japanese hair straightening treatment, it kind of went in two steps. I, what happened in those two steps, I couldn't even tell you the specifics. I can tell you what she did, which is that she made some sort of mixture <laughs> and then applied it in my hair kind of the same way that if you've ever had foils done in your hair, she just did it into like thin little sections. And every time she painted the brush on the section, except with a foil, you know, there's not full hair coverage necessarily. Well, that's, I don't know the, I, yeah. Anyways, it's full coverage. And so she would paint the strip of hair, but then she would make sure it re laid really flat, you know, down my back or on my side, because obviously you want to get the hair to stay, stay straight. It just feels logical. I've never done the process before, but I was like, yep, this all makes sense. So she did that, put that on my hair, let it sit for a while. Then she came back at some point, put a plastic cap on my hair. And I think that like, probably like accelerates the process. I'm thinking it kind of kind of what keeps the heat in or something. So anyways, I sat there for, I have no idea how long because I think I just was watching TikTok on my phone or something, listening to a podcast at one point I know. And then she said, okay, like, Time for step two, we're gonna go rinse this out. So then we went and rinsed my hair out. And then she applied step two. What that was, I have no idea, but it didn't necessarily uh, require my hair to be perfectly straight because she just washed it out and then she kind of mixed, you know, she massaged some stuff into my hair. And then I sat there for, again, it was probably anywhere between, you know, when you're, you know, when you're sitting there at the salon, time 
you know, it, it's like it doesn't, it doesn't exist anymore. So that could have been anywhere between 15 and 25 minutes, I think. And then she washed that out. And then she brought me back over to the little station. She started to dry my hair. Yeah, she dried my hair. And then she had the keratin stuff, which I don't know if she mixed in before my hair was dry, but I, she was definitely putting it in once it was dry as well. Excuse me. And then she started flat ironing my hair all around and she did it in the little sections. Now, I don't know if that last flat iron, how that plays into it. It sounded like it more played in with the keratin, but again, if you know, yeah, I'm just telling you the process that happened for me. So she flat ironed in as she kind of had like mixed in the keratin and she got it like real, real straight. And so this is essentially what it looked like after it was all done. So it was for me exactly four hours. I went in at 1.30, I left at 5.30 and I couldn't have gotten out of there fast enough because I don't like sitting in salons for any sort of treatment, I'll be honest with you. I don't like getting, like I'll do manicures, pedicures, but it's like not my thing to just like sit and not do anything else. I'm a multitasker. And so anyways, the total cost, so for my haircut, the keratin treatment and the Japanese hair straightening treatment, it was a total of $450. It's not including the tip. Of course I tipped 20% on top of that because I was very pleased with the results. And yeah, so it was in the ball ballpark of what she said. She said three to 400. If we say it was 400, then it was $50 for the keratin treatment and the haircut, which was totally fair in my opinion because I have really thick hair and I would not be surprised if she you know, really had to use a lot of product for the hair straightening treatment and all that sort of stuff and her labor and everything like that. So I felt like it was more than fair. Um, and I can tell you comparatively what my mom pays to get her hair straightened just for a little bit of perspective. Well, okay, so what's aftercare look like? So I, she said that don't wash your hair for 48 hours. Of course, I went onto the internet just to see what they said. I saw that they say anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. I'm probably gonna go with 48 just because I'm itching to just like wash my scalp again because it just feels like, you know, it's been touched a lot and, and I just would like to do it. And to be honest, I really wanna see again what it looks like when it comes out of the sh like water shower because after she rinsed it out and I was sitting at her station before she started blow drying my hair you know that moment where you're like oh you know have you seen those memes where it's like am I always this ugly um I could tell that it was straight but I'm not gonna lie to you like when I saw it it was like so startling that I didn't even want to touch it she was like look at it touch it I was like I don't want to because it's just like I didn't want to touch it and then all of a sudden it curls but it was laying flat 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 like this it was like straight hair but you know it's like you need to experience it on your own so uh, I think I will probably wash it today once we hit that 48 hour mark I've been really good to not let any water get on it which has been difficult yesterday and today because it rained it's raining currently it rained yesterday and I did want to go on a walk yesterday so I had I used an umbrella, which sounds logical, but here in the Pacific Northwest, we don't really use umbrellas. So that's a novel idea. And <laughs> so anyways, I, yeah, I plan on washing it today. And in terms of when do I come back? So I asked her that because I had seen online, I think that I, I had seen people say maybe four to six or six to eight months. When I asked her, when should I come back again? She said eight months and she was pretty insistent on eight months. She's like, no, I'll see you in eight months. So I don't know. I guess that's when I'll go back in. It just really depends on grow out because like obviously all of this hair is going to be straight, but anything that grows in after is going to be my natural or curly or wavy hair, which, you know, I don't know. You can make the argument like, oh, well, it's not worth it then because it grows back, but that's just how it works. You know, then you just have to get it touched up. It's like a hair color service. So if it truly is eight months, $450 or $400, if it, it that's the cost of it moving forward, well, probably not because I'll probably always get that keratin treatment, but let's just say $450. If it's only ever $450 every eight months, that's awesome. Even if it's every six months, if my hair is straight, then it's worth it for me because this is such, it feels like such a pain 
when you get out of the shower and you just have to think, what am I gonna do with this today? Like this big mane, which I did post again on my Instagram. I made like a little Instagram reel and I did it before. So if you wanna go see what it looks like, my hair was, I'm sitting in the car and it, it I mean, it's huge. Like it's a lot of hair, which, you know, it's not like she took away my hair, but now at least it, it feels more manageable. I have very, very, very thick hair. I don't know if that always translates on camera. It's, it's the number one thing people like say when they touch my hair. I have very thick, coarse, curly, wavy hair. And so anyways, if it's only ever that much every so often, totally worth it for me. I'm really happy that I did it. I'm only a couple days in and I haven't washed it yet. So maybe I'll check back in at some point and talk about it again, but yeah. Really happy with it, totally worth the money. My hair feels awesome, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, in terms of coloring it, I said, can you color your hair if you have received this, or if you'd wanna do this treatment? She said yes. And my mom also gets her hair colored and she has a straightening treatment done. I was always under the impression you couldn't. She said the only thing you can't is if like you have like bleached hair or like I'm guessing blonde hair, which is not gonna be the case for me. So, you know, I have been growing out my grays because why not? Um, but you know, some days I have thoughts where I wanna color it again. So it is nice to know that, okay, I guess I could still have that option. I thought you couldn't. So if you know otherwise, please let me know. Part of the aftercare these first 48 hours, in addition to not getting it wet, is really not tucking it behind your hair, um, no ponytails at all, no wearing it up, nothing, because she said I needed to keep it really straight. You don't wanna get any kinks in the hair. It has been a little bit nerve wracking because of course, you know, I do wanna pull it back, or, well, I do wanna pull it back, but also just, it's really hard to not tuck it behind my ear. So at best, what I've been doing is, I'll, she said the claw clips are fine. I'll just pull it back like this, especially if I'm washing my face or something like that. Even then, I just got worried about using claw clips because I was like, oh man, that's such an investment. Like I've never spent that much money on my hair in one sitting, right? Okay, so for my the cost of what my mom does, uh, by comparison, my mom has been straightening her hair for a little while now. I asked her, do you get the Japanese hair straightening process also? She said, I don't know what I have done. So she goes to like, you know, a sm I, smaller little place, very small business. And so I don't know. <laughs> she gets a really good deal, but you know, I mean, yeah, it's a very small little joint, right? Not that the place I went to wasn't a small place as well, but anyways, so she gets a cut color and the hair straightening treatment for $120, she said. So kudos to my mom, cause apparently she's getting a better deal than I am. However, she does have very like short hair. I mean, it's, you know, it's short. It's just like a short, um, not like a pixie, but longer than a pixie, you know, just like a short little hairdo. So for her, it's only 120, but maybe that makes more sense because it's just using less product and all that. But I mean, 120, I'm not gonna lie. That still is like a killer deal. Would I consider visiting her place in the future? I, I, I don't know, maybe it depends. I really like, I like this Japanese hair straightening treatment process. I guess if it were to have the same results or if that's what she's having done. Also, I think a lot of when you go to a salon and you get your hair done or things done to your body and yourself, it's really, um, I think half the time it's about the stylist, right? It's about somebody that you like and you trust and all that. So I really like the person that did mine. It was actually the owner of the salon. Um, she was really great. Uh, she's had the, her location for, I think she told me like 17 years. And you know, being somebody who considers themselves to be like a little hustler, somebody, I consider myself to be a hard worker. I'm using my claw clip, sorry to talk. Um, she is very much the same way. So I felt a little bit of a kinship with their, her in that way as well. So all in all, I'm really happy with the process. I, for me, it was worth the money. You know, of course I was a little bit concerned about like the risks to my hair and my own personal health regarding these sort of hair treatments. I'm definitely gonna look into it further because you know, it's some strong smelling chemicals. I mean, even cause I haven't washed it out yet. It's not so bad now, 
but the first night I got it done, it was just like, whoa. And obviously I know it was the keratin was in there still, but yeah, I know a lot was done, but I'll be honest with you. My hair feels healthier now than when I went in and got it done. And obviously again, that keratin treatment probably p played a lot into it. But if we're talking about how I went in there and I basically broke all the curls in my hair, which should have really damaged my hair, the, uh, the keratin must, yeah, that thing does wonders. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I did look online and it said that in terms of shampooing and all that sort of stuff, they recommended getting a shampoo with amino acids, which coincidentally I've, I got one for free recently. <laughs> so it's just random, but there's this website called, I think it's like BZZ agent, like buzz agent. If I, if, if I can like put like a link down below, I will for it. I highly consider signing up for it. This is just ending my video with a little fun tip here, but they send you, um, emails to get samples of different products and stuff like that. So I got one for this really nice shampoo and conditioner brand. I think it's called like Div or Divi, D-I-V. You probably have heard of it if you're a bougie, if you're a bougie person. I can never afford this shampoo necessarily, but maybe I will have to start affording it from now on. I think it's like $40 a bottle, 40 for the shampoo and 40 for the conditioner. They sent me a set and yeah, and it's actually exactly what I need. It's like a shampoo and conditioner with amino acids. So I'll definitely use that. Otherwise, I was looking, Kiehl's has one as well. That was also kind of expensive, but I was gonna give it a shot. You know, if it keeps my hair looking like this, then again, all of the costs of it are kind of worth it. So yeah, and then you still have the option, of course, to curl and style your hair. It's nice to just then treat curls like an option and not my everyday so yeah but if you love your curls of course that's awesome as well this is just me trying something new after my 39th or into my 39th year so I hope this was fun or informative for you and I'll see you guys in my next video bye